you killed the most respectful young man. You broke my heart, you took my soul. Stacy McKnight is talking about her son, DeMarco Ewing, who would have been 32 on July 9th. But yesterday, his life was snatched away by gunfire outside of this taco truck on Richmond and Dunvale. I was working a 16 hour shift Monday night into Tuesday morning. I got a call from Marco's uh, girlfriend. McKnight says the girlfriend told her she had got a message through Snapchat saying a man was looking for Marco. Later, Marco was shot dead. My son was shot at nine times. He shot my son in the neck. He bled out. And she says the proof of her son's killing was sent to his girlfriend's phone. She said the next thing she knows, she get a picture of my son laying on the ground under a sheet. A fate, she says, he didn't deserve. He was a good guy. Um, Mom's boy, uh, very intelligent. He had his own business. He did detail cars. He has three children that he left behind. Police arrested Ron Travius Wooten and charged him with murder. Part of the evidence being used in this case is surveillance footage from a business just a few feet away. This is video showing the moments Wooten allegedly hopped out of the passenger side of a white car and shot Ewing. McKnight is relieved at least one of the suspects involved is off the streets. The detective told me that he had just had the case handed to him an hour earlier and that yes, Don Julio was a nickname and that yes, he had turned himself in. But McKnight says she's still frustrated because most of the information she's received came from Marco's girlfriend instead of authorities. I'm thinking, why is she doing y'all job? Why, why is she telling me why y'all ain't telling me? You yeah. should have been the one to tell me about my son's death. And I'm getting to run around. Well, it's the holiday and we really hadn't processed everything. We reached out to HPD for answers, but because of the holiday, we were unable to reach anyone. As the investigation continues, McKnight has a plea to others who may have been involved. Please just turn yourself in and be done with this so we can move on in life. You know what I'm saying? Forgiveness can be given, but I, I'm I'm not there yet. I'm just asking you to do the right thing. If anyone has more information in this case, you're asked to call police or Crime Stoppers anonymously at 713-222-TIPS. On the west side, Devin Clark, KPRC2 News.